So the great thing with the new line screen is it does come with an inbuilt computer. So in terms of the studio, you could run through from here. I'll go through it in a bit more detail, but there is a web browser. There is the ability to cast to it. Um, you also have the ability to either opt for an optional inbuilt PC, which is great because then you'll have no cables, no wires with a full Windows experience. Or alternatively, you can do what I've done, which is just use a HDMI cable and a USB cable to plug my existing screen, uh, my existing computer into the screen. One of the great things I really like and you don't see on any other screens at this price point is the visual interface. So because these two are white, it'll allow, it shows me that you've got um, two different inputs plugged in at the moment. If you had the visualizer we were discussing plugged in as well, HDMI 2 would also be lit up. Now if I click on the HDMI source I'm thinking about switching to, it gives me a visual representation of what's on that screen for me. Now you don't get that on anything else at this price point in the market. So I know that's the one I want, I'm just going to click into it and I'm going to spend a couple of minutes to you um, explaining a little bit about height vision. So I have my Windows PC plugged in, so everything works in the normal way that it would do. Apart from it works like a big tablet, and I have the ability to pinch and zoom and scroll, just like I would do if I was on a tablet. And more importantly, I can annotate over the top of things like PowerPoints, presentations, videos, which I'll show you in a little bit more detail. What I'm going to just do for a few minutes is discuss... Um, New Line, because they're a brand that not many people have heard about, but actually have a, a huge amount of sway within the marketplace. So New Line are massive in the marketplace, even though not a lot of people know their names. Um, and that's partly down to the fact how screens are made. Most screen manufacturers go to one of four factories in the world to make their screens. So it doesn't really matter whether it says Panasonic, Samsung, New Line, Smart or whatever on it. Generally, they're all coming out of the same factories. And what you'll notice about New Line is, is they're owned by a company called Height Vision. And Height Vision manufacture 25% of all of the touchscreens that are currently in use of the world. And New Line as a brand are currently fourth on the world listing in terms of the amount of screens sold. So even though you may not have heard much of them in Europe, they have a massive presence around the world. And what I really like about this screen is not only can I annotate without pressing any buttons or using tools, I've also got the ability to rub out um, any of my annotations without having to select. And that's called object awareness. Now what object awareness is, is it allows me to tell the difference between my pen and my finger, which is what allows me to rub out annotate, move without um, using any buttons, just using gesture control. So as we move through, as I said, New Line uh, manufacture uh, most of the 25% of the screens in the world and a part of that comes with a huge amount of support because they are the manufacturer they're able to move really quickly in terms of updates and patches if there's any issues whatsoever and as part of that um, we will offer um, an initial training session for you, which you can pay uh, additional training sessions should you wish to. But alternatively, there is on-site training. And more importantly, it comes with an on-site repair warranty that's three years. What that means is, is if there's any issues whatsoever, they will come to your site. They will uh, try and repair it. If they can't fix it, they'll already have a replacement waiting to go in the van for you. Now, the real great thing about that is, is it's down to a single pixel. If there's even one pixel that isn't working, they will come and repair it. A lot of the other manufacturers or the other brands that you can buy, they would expect you to have, you know, a minimum of 10 pixels not working before they would then come out and fix it for you. Now, as part of it, it does come with an ecosystem of products. So you've got the interactive display. It has wireless presentation included and some various so software solutions out of the box ready for you to use. And most importantly about this is it's non-proprietary, which means it doesn't matter whether you've got Android, Chrome, Windows or iOS. This has been designed to work with those products for you. Now what we're looking at today is the RS series. Now that does come with a, an inbuilt computer which I'll focus on, which gives you a customizable interface, 
object recognition, as I said, the difference between pen, finger and gesture already built into it. It's incredibly slim and lightweight. And most importantly, in the broadcast industry, it is 4K. So it will give you the clearest, brightest uh, resolution that you can out of a screen on the market at the moment. Now, it does come in a range of sizes from 65 to 98. Normally, with most touch screens, you'd probably be looking at the 65 with the uh, budget that you've got. But this will actually stretch to the 75. However, if you could stretch that budget a little bit more, you could also opt for an 86 inch screen. Now, in our experience with studio audiences or for that wow factor while you're broadcasting, the bigger, the better. So if you can stretch to the 86 inch, I would certainly recommend that for you moving forwards. And it does come with a suite of products, as I said, out of the box. So we're focusing on the corporate section here, which comes with New Line Cast, which I will talk about in a bit more detail. New Line Broadcast, Display Management. Now, I think display management is really important because if you end up with a number of screens like this, it will allow your IT support company to dial in and manage those screens remotely without being in front of them. So if, it, if you want an app installing, an update installing, or if there's any issues whatsoever, your IT support don't physically have to be in front of the screen. Display management will allow you to deal with that remotely. And again, a lot of other screens on the market at the price point that this comes in at does not include that with it for you, okay? Um, now, don't take our word for it. Um, New Line have won numerous awards over the last two or three years. Best in show, you know, award finalist 2018. So hopefully what you'll see over the next few minutes is New Line are definitely the, uh, the, the right product at the right price for you. So I'm just gonna press the home button and come back to the inbuilt computer on the screen. Now. There are a number of tool options on the side for you. So I'm just going to do some annotation over the top. It's dead simple. I press the annotation button and now I can annotate what's over my screen. You have got a settings area over here, which will allow you to set your time and all of the other settings look for updates. You've got a visual display of your inputs, um, which for me, at this price point, you do not get on any other screen on the market. So I've got two white boxes that show that my built-in PC and my computer are plugged in. If you also have the visualizer that we were discussing on the chat, that would show on HDMI 2. Now, the thing I really like about this is if I select HDMI 1, what it will visually do is it will show me um, what is on that screen, which I'll show you in a minute. You've also got a section here, which is some of the inbuilt apps ready to go. Um, so you've got a browser, file viewer, whiteboard, screen share, and my inbuilt PC. But then I've also got the ability to add additional options for you as, as and when I feel the need to. So I'm just going to close that off. It automatically saves it and I can get that back whenever I want. All I need to do is go into the file viewer, select pictures, and it shows me all of the different annotations that I've done over the period of time. So I can come back to the one that we were just work working on at any point whenever I want to. Okay. I do have a home button which will always take me back. So if I'm ever lost or I'm not sure, I just press the home button and it will take me back to the front here. So as I said, it does have the option to come with an inbuilt Windows PC. If I opt for the OPS PC, that's where I can access it from. A really great feature that I think you'll find useful is screen share, because you could have a, another presenter sat on a desk somewhere with a laptop or an iPad, and you might want them to be able to send what's on their screen onto the big screen for everybody to see and for them to use and annotate over the top of it. So I'd hit screen share. I can either go to a web page and join, or I can download and install an app. And all I do is I put in this six digit number, 05928, that number changes, uh, 059284, that number changes each time. Pop in my name, hit connect, and you'll see that I've joined the session over in it, and I can present, and it gives me a countdown of three seconds, and now you can see that my iPad screen is on the big screen, which can either be this way, or I can even rotate it, and it will then still fill the screen for me to use and show what I want to present from a mobile device. Just simply hit stop broadcasting, and it goes back to the beginning. I have a home button, which keeps letting me come back 
to my home screen, which is very quick and simple. I do have a web browser, so I can go off to the internet and show anything I want, whether that be a video, some PDF images, and again, just like before, this is pinch and zoom, just like if I was using a tablet on a uh, handheld device. I've already been into File Viewer. I do have gadgets, and this is where I can add a number of additional content. If I want, I can add APK files for an Android device by sticking in a USB stick and using the File Viewer to open and run those APK files. In this particular case, what comes is the ability for music or a browser. You can see I've already added the File Viewer New Line Broadcast, which though I don't think you'll use initially, I think is a really good feature to have in the screen because on the same network I can broadcast from my screen to up to 200 different devices so remote workers can dial in and see what I'm presenting if I want to use it that way. You've also got the um, device management which is built in, as I said before, that allows your IT department to dial in, manage and run the screens, add updates, turn them on and off and deal with general um, troubleshooting on the screens themselves. The last thing I'm going to talk to you about is the whiteboard because again I think this is a really useful um, feature to have built into the screen. What that will allow you to do is something as simple as writing and annotating onto the board, okay? But more importantly, it's got some other features built into it. So I have got the ability to use shapes and arrows. So if I wanted to do some flow diagrams or some annotations, I can do that. I've also got the ability to annotate over the top of anything else. So I might want to show how a ball should have been passed or where the player should have run into. And again, that's built into the screen. I just simply use the object in it, awareness, so it knows I'm using a pen and therefore it writes on it. And as before, it will capture those images for me to use at a later time or date. The other things that I can do with the whiteboard is if I want to, I can text, type text straight onto the screen. But I really like the ability to find information from the internet. So if I come into the internet and I want to find something on the news, um, I can just simply type in BBC, in this case, go into the BBC News website and I can use the capture tool to then uh, capture a video or an annotation um, that I want to show. So I just resize my box, I bring it up to where I want it to be, I hit capture and then hey presto that then appears and I can pinch and zoom and move around and annotate over the top of it. So thank you very much for your time. Hopefully what you can see whether it be the inbuilt apps like screen sharing, whiteboarding or the ability to visually see what's on another device before you go over to it. Um, the three year warranty that's on site and the fact that this um, gives you the ability to go for a larger screen should you want to. There is nothing else on the market in our view that comes close to New Line in terms of the features, what comes as part of the package and most importantly how big a screen you can get with your money. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for taking the time to watch. If you have any other questions or queries please feel free to get back in contact with us at any point.